guys, happy Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kelly. If you're not, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing some homeschooling. We do homeschool about three mornings each week. Uh, behind me is our little setup that we did. So I'll take you guys on a little tour of that and show you what we use on a typical school day. I'll also show you guys the curriculum that we use for Alex's first grade year. If you guys have the opportunity or you're thinking about homeschooling and you're nervous, don't be. If I can do this, you can do this. I'm not a professional. I did a lot of my own research and I ended up choosing a faith-based curriculum called The Good and the Beautiful. It's basically step-by-step. -step. There's no pre-planning involved. Each lesson guides you through. It's so fun for the kids and it's so easy for the parents to teach. If you guys have any questions about anything that I talk about or anything that I show you, please feel free to ask me in the comments. If you guys are interested in the curriculum that I use, I'll be sure to link everything down below so you can check out pricing and everything they have to offer. Let's start with a little tour of our schoolroom. So here is the very large United States map. We have a Melissa and Doug calendar. We also have addition tables, subtraction tables. We have a bulletin board that we put Alex's artwork on. And as you can see, he's a bit obsessed with Super Mario. And here we have a dry erase board, and this one's from Target. And then we have this storage bin cabinet that we got from Ikea. And the bins are also from Ikea. And I got these this past summer, but I believe they still have all of this. So in this first cubby, we just have like a paper cutter. And then I just have a bunch of stuff like banners and stuff to hang up for different holidays. And then here we have a dry erase board that Alex uses for some of his lessons. And then we have this math box that was sent with our curriculum and then I just keep like little pictures and stuff that we hang up on the bulletin board depending on the weather and then here are just some extra notebooks in here and folders and then here is like our little art station so we have glue rulers erasers and then here's all the paint stuff I just have this tablecloth and then we have a bunch of different paints in here and paint brushes and sponges and then I have these drawing pads and this big pad for watercolor and then we have this time activity set we have a bunch of extra folders we have index cards these are just a few extra storage containers that I have and then on top here we have some paper towels we have a bunch of different flash cards. I have a little bin that holds the eraser for the dry erase board. And then I have this little setup of like paper clips, push pins, and different things like that, like erasers, post-its, scissors, glue, stapler, tape, all that good stuff. And a nice little picture that he took of his brother. We have this whole setup of crayons. So this little Lazy Susan I got from the Target Dollar Spot along with these jars that came in a three pack and all of this stuff I got, I think it was purchased in July. So I don't think they have these anymore. I mean, you can use any Lazy Susan from anywhere that will work. I also got this Lazy Susan from the Target Dollar Spot. This is from the Target Dollar Spot also. This holds all of his pencils and markers. We have a pencil sharpener. And then this is usually filled with treasure box stuff, but as you can see, it's empty, so we need to refill this. He usually gets a treasure box surprise every Friday. And then here's where I keep my planner book. And then he has a binder for a bunch of his science artwork that he does. And then a couple extra folders back there. And then here we have this storage rolling cart that I got from Ikea. So in the top drawer, I just keep tape, a hole puncher, stickers, extra erasers, a lighter because I usually have a candle up here, which I need to get another one. And then I have like thumbtacks, staples, posted stickers. And then this one is just extra lined paper. And then we have construction paper in this drawer. And then down here, I have a bunch of folders with all of the work that he completes for each lesson. And then here we have this little dry erase board with the days of the week. And then I just write which days we are gonna do school that week. And then here we have a shelf that is also from Target. 
On the bottom shelf, we keep all of Alex's books. And then on this shelf, we just put some of his little projects that he does in school. And then I have these little bins that hold a bunch of his phonics cards and then more flashcards. This shelf holds all of his textbooks. And then this shelf, we have this bin where we put art projects that he can do. And then behind this plant, I have these jars full of rubber bands. We have some Q-tips. And then up here, I have these two baskets full of stuff for different art projects that Alex likes to do. And then up top here is where we keep the globe. So here we have all of the literature textbooks that I'm going to show you guys. The first one is the actual course book that we use every day. And then as you can see in the beginning, it tells you all about the course. We have a sight word letters. We have overviews for each unit that you start. And then here are all of the lessons. And as you can see, they're so colorful. They're so fun. They definitely capture Alex's attention. They have a bunch of games that you can do. There's also pages that you can paint and color. Overall, just really fun for the kids. And then here we have his level one handwriting book to practice his handwriting. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard that they're not teaching cursive anymore in school. I believe they teach cursive in third grade. So tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I'm not 100% sure but it looks like in this book, they are preparing for the kids to learn how to write cursive, which I love. So we're gonna to continue to do that. And then we also have a level one reader. This is a book of short stories for Alex to read to me. And each story is about 10 to 12 pages long. The words are nice and big. The pictures are fun and colorful, as you can see. So we both really love this book. And then next up, we have our level one math course book. And then same as the literature book, they have the table of contents. They have different charts. Here are the lessons. And once again, it's filled with games and puzzles and all kinds of fun stuff for the kids to do for each lesson plan. So in the back of the math book, there is a course assessment, which is great. That way, you can go over everything they learn throughout the year and see if they need any additional practice in any particular area. So here we have his history books. This is his course book that we use all the time. This one is nice because it comes with audio recordings that you can listen to on the website. There are a bunch of memorization texts in the beginning of the book. There are a lot of activities that you can do throughout the lessons. And then we have the big book of history stories, which to be honest, it's pretty advanced for first graders. Um, definitely not meant for them to read, but I do read all of these to him. So throughout the course book, it'll tell you which story to go to according to that lesson plan. And then here are a few books that are suggested to read. I wouldn't recommend it. We've only made it through this one, uh, Boy of the Pyramids. It's pretty advanced for first grade. Um, we're going to stick to Alex's books that he already owns. I just feel like the ones that he has are much better for his reading level. I would suggest these books more for like third grade. And then here we have Space Science. So they send you all of these individual pages that you put into your own binder. And this lesson also has a bunch of fun activities to do. You can create your own science journal, which we have done. So they can make illustrations of the planets and the galaxy and whatever else they recommend that the kids draw or color. Alex has a lot of fun with this lesson. We also chose to learn about arthropods. There are a ton of different things that you can choose from. So we chose to go with this one. And this lesson teaches you all about different bugs. Not my thing, but fun for the boys. And then we have our safety lesson, which I thought was really important to get. So it teaches them all about fire safety, water and electricity, earthquakes, natural disasters, um, things about your body, being home alone, kitchen safety, and internet and peer pressure. And the last one is gun safety. So like the other books that we have, this one also has a bunch of activities to do. The last book that I got, this does not come with the curriculum. This was totally separate. I just thought it would be fun for Alex to do. 
we got a book of awesome science experiments. So most of this stuff you have laying around the house, which is why I got it. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of different things. But if you want to get away from like all of the textbook, the reading, this is a fun way to escape all of that just for a few minutes. I also wanted to show you guys my teacher planner that I use. So this one is from Target. Um, I will link it down below if they still have it. If not, I'll link a few others that are very similar. This one comes with a bunch of stickers. And then here is the calendar. You can see all of the lessons that we did each day. I definitely recommend this planner if you are looking for one. If you guys are interested, here is the desk slash table and chairs that we use. They are both from Ikea. The trash can is from Walmart. And if I can find all of them or whatever is available, I will link them down below. All right, Alex, you ready for school? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. FYI, I didn't just decide to pick up clippers and cut his hair. I went to beauty school. I've been doing this for a very long time. I know what I'm doing, so let's go. Okay guys, we are going to do a small run to Walmart. I promised Alex I would get him a Lego Mario character pack because he did really good cleaning up after himself yesterday. He cleaned up all his toys, he cleaned his room for me. So we're going to reward him with a small little toy and that's it. No more. I know he's going to try to beg for more but nope, one pack. But first, coffee. Get 
gift for Kevin. Let's get him a little surprise. Oh, you guys, I love these. Oh, they're so nice. guys we just left Walmart I'm gonna do a little car haul and show you what we got so first up I got this like tunic hoodie this was like $15.98 I believe so it just has like a little hoodie on the back and then this ribbed material if you haven't noticed I like the color blush pink so I got another sweatshirt it's just like the one I wore in my last video so I got another size small and this was actually on sale for $9.50. And then we picked up Cal in this little monster truck. Just came out. So he's going to be excited about that. And then we got what we came for. The Super Mario Lego character packs. So I got two for his treasure box. And then he just grabbed one for himself for today that he opened. What did you get? I got Freezy. He got Freezy. And it's this well that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button uh give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you on the next one